Getting your tongue up on the roof of your mouth, particularly that back, that posterior third of the tongue, is incredibly difficult. Um, I've made some videos of that and I've described it to people, but people are still struggling to do it. And it's really, I think, that most people who listen to me about putting the tongue on the roof of the mouth, they're doing this. They're walking around with the tip of their tongue on the roof of the mouth, but without trying to get the whole of the back of that tongue, this posterior third of the tongue here, onto the roof of the mouth, well, then you probably don't put the rest of your tongue on the roof of the mouth, and then you're not going to drive your maxilla up and forwards, and that is the most important thing, because not only does it drive your maxilla up and forward, but it's acting as an anchor of support, the head support. The reason we're all walking around with our heads like this is we're missing that support to help hold our heads up ones that's supposed to be coming from this organ here. That's sitting on the hyoid, that's strapped down from the center of the um, axis, and it's helping hold the whole facial structure upwards. Now, for most people, if you get the posterior third of the tongue properly up on the roof of the mouth, you're going to find that back of the tongue is pushing into your airway. For most people, faces are down and back, even from this nice but modern image. So, by the time you've got the whole volume of your tongue back into correctly the right place, you're going to be pushing your soft palate and the back third of your tongue into your airway. And temporarily, while you're achieving this and driving the maxilla forwards, it's going to feel uncomfortable. And sometimes, when I am doing that, I do a test to myself. And the test to myself is, if I hold a breath, so I go, and I can't push out, because what I've done is I've moved the soft palate across onto the back of the um, nasopharynx. And if I push the soft palate, this soft palate here, back on the nasopharynx, then I can't breathe out. So, yeah, that stops me breathing out completely, and that's how we can all hold our breath. Now, getting the posterior third of the tongue up onto the soft palate and holding your breath in that way is very, very similar. The difference between the two is small, and one good exercise is to flip back between these two. And I think that the sections of muscle that do one or the other may be slightly inappropriately programmed because we've never used them properly, and because, obviously, the muscles have adapted and changed to an inappropriate situation and architecture, an inappropriate structure. So, it's really important to work out the difference between that two, identify it, work on it, feel that posterior third of the tongue. I think that posterior third of the tongue really wants to be working on the soft palate like a trampoline. The posterior third pushing up, holding the whole of the maxilla up and holding your whole head up. Use that with the mu push swallow to keep you upright. Work hard and good luck.